TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently got a mixed bag out here. That mixed bag shows the Dow down by 52 points. The S&P's off five, the NASDAQ 41. No real big movements. That's a you know, less than two tenths of a percent. The NDX one is less than three tenths of a percent. The semis are the big movers to the downside. Up one and a half percent, 49 points. Russell's up 13. Tranny's up 117. You've got gold up four bucks, silver down 12 cents. Lights be crude up 17 pennies. Let's go take a look at my index charts out here. We've got those things working again. And we'll begin by taking a look at the Dow Jones Industrials. That's going to be in your upper left hand corner. And what you can see here, I've got a consolidation. So this is kind of a junior consolidation. It's a small consolidation. Consolidation that's formed with inside a larger consolidation, very well defined. We see that price yesterday got up to the top of the consolidation and gave it up. Now, gave it up means what? It's just pulling back to test its oscillator and change line. That's currently priced at 34,388. If price closes below that level, that suggests okay, we run down to the bottom of the consolidation. In essence, the lows of about three, four, five days ago in about the 33,800 level. The Dow Jones has a confirmed road momentum indicator bottom out here, so it's got a, uh, it's got the bottom signal that aligns itself with the favorable seasonal cycle. Will that hold? I don't know. In the case of the S&P 500, it topped with a TD9 count top. It generated a uh, buy the uh, D point. It generated a Gartley buy point. But price has run, run into some resistance now over the past couple of trading sessions. And that is its red oscillator and change line. If price remains below that, it says a further move lower can unfold. That further move lower, certainly back to lows of four, five, six days ago in the 4280 type area. The NDX 100, you can clearly see how the oscillator and change line has been a resistance point. And that's really important to see because this is consistency. And if we see a close above that level, that level right now is 14,817. That suggests a further move higher. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, even though it's trading up nicely today, 13.6 tenths of a percent, it's really just sideways action. The semis, though, the semis are taking out, I believe they're close to taking out. Have they taken it out? The TD9 count support level they have not if price closes below 316683 or 3172 right now that would not be good news for the semiconductor index otherwise it's at the bottom of a consolidation pattern i didn't get a chance to draw that in but in essence that's what we'll be looking at folks stay tuned your favorite polar bear david white with the power trading hour he's up next i know i'll be listening you should too tom o'brien he'll take us on home and i'll be back with you tomorrow at one o'clock for the traders at show have a terrific tuesday folks and be safe out there